About a month ago, Apple released the all new journal app with iOS 17.2. So I've been testing out for the last few weeks to answer the question, what's it all about? Basically, this is a new native iOS app that, according to Apple, is designed to help you reflect on everyday moments and life's special events. One of the main reasons that Apple made this app to begin with is because journaling has been shown to help improve people's well-being and better their mental health. Just writing about simple everyday moments can really help you reflect on your day-to-day -day life and focus on what you're most grateful for. So if you already have a journal or if you've ever thought about starting one, this is a great reason to do so. Once you open that app up, you'll see that it presents you with all sorts of different writing prompts, like talking about pictures that you've taken, music that you've listened to, places that you've traveled, or even workouts that you've done. And honestly, seeing this for the first time, although impressive, was also kind of jarring because these are pretty personal prompts that it gives you, and it's all suggested based on data that's stored on your phone. So to clarify, all of these personalized prompts are actually created on device using machine learning. That just means that although it's personal, personal information, it is all computed by an algorithm on your device and your device only. It is not going to be sent up to the cloud, so you shouldn't have to worry about any security issues because it all happens on your iPhone. To quote them directly, Apple states that the journal app is built with privacy at its core. And honestly, if you know anything about Apple, you probably know that privacy and security is definitely something they take very seriously. So let me show you some of the privacy measures they've taken to keep everything secure. Firstly, when the iPhone is locked and you have a passcode set, all of the journal entries are encrypted. Second, even when the phone is unlocked, you do have an option in the settings where you can actually add a passcode to the journal app specifically, so you have to unlock it again using a passcode or face ID to get into the app. Third is that if you do choose to store your journal entries in iCloud, they are all end-to-end -end encrypted, so no one can access them but you. And lastly, and maybe most importantly, is you can choose what all is shared with the journal app. So if you don't want it to have access to your photos, but you're okay with it having access to your music, you can set it up that way. In fact, you can actually just fully turn off the personalized suggestions so that you can just open the journal app and type your own entries without having any suggestions at all. So really, my point is that it's built with privacy in mind. And with those certain options, you can kind of fine tune it to what you're most comfortable with. Okay, so that all being said, let's talk about how to best use this app and what all it can actually do. After testing it out, I can definitely say it's been very nice and it is pretty ingenuitive in all the customization options that you have for your entries. So if you wanna keep it simple, you can always just start a new entry, write what you wanna write, and then call it a day. But with the options you have, you can make it a lot more detailed than that as well. There's all sorts of different widgets that you can add into your entries that actually directly link to the things that you're writing about. So for example, if you're listening to music one day that you were inspired by and you wanted to write about it, you can actually embed music into the journal entry so whenever you go back to that journal entry to reread it or reference it, you can actually just tap on the song and it'll play it in the music app. And this works regardless of what type of widget you're using, whether it's music, photos, news articles, podcasts, or even your workouts. Using those widgets or really relying on any of the suggestions that the journal app makes to you makes it extremely easy to find something to get inspired to write about. And I love having the ability to embed these things, especially pictures, into my entries because it makes it a lot easier to go back and reference things and see exactly what I was talking about in that moment. And outside of those app-based suggestions, you do also have another type of prompt, which are called reflections. Now these are text-based prompts that basically ask you a question or just give you something to think about and write about. These ones are definitely more unique because as opposed to just basing it on music or a photo that you took, it actually asks you a question and prompts you to think about it and then write your answer. And there are all sorts of different reflections that come up that change on a daily basis. Plus, if you ever are at a point where you're going to write but you don't necessarily like the prompt that it gives you, you do have a little button you can press on the top right where you can cycle through different reflections as well to find one that's a better fit. Now, as you go on with adding more and more entries over time, they are all very easily accessible as soon as you open the journal app. So once you open it, you can either press the plus symbol to make a new entry, or you can scroll through your previous entries to reference or reread them. Now, obviously you might have a lot of entries, especially as time goes on. So there are a few different ways that you can filter through them, 
Firstly would be you can bookmark your entries. Otherwise, you can also filter the entries by what type of content they contain. Now, if you're trying to make a habit out of writing in the journal app, one last feature that I really like is the fact that you can have it send you daily notifications to remind you to write. You can choose what time of day this comes in, and basically it just gives you a gentle reminder to open up the journal app and write something down for the day. So after putting it to use for the past month, I can definitely say that I'm very happy with the journal app. It's a major upgrade from what I was using previously on the notes app, and it has been very nice to have those personalized suggestions, so I always know what I want to write about. What are your thoughts on the journal app? Do you think you'll use it? 